Here is something interesting you probably didn't know about the HTML or body elements. This also help you understand CSS better and help you resolve problems faster. So we have this simple web page. Let's say you wanted to make the background of this web page a certain color. You might think, okay, go to the body elements and enter your background color. So here I have background color light coral and this seems to work. The background color is now applied to the whole web page. But if we come here and we do a border of 10 pixel solid light sea green, what you notice here is that the height of this body element is actually from this point to this point. But when we apply a background color of light coral, this background color is applying to the whole background. Let's now come to this HTML element and let's say we do a background color of light gray. What you notice is that the background color of the body no longer applies to the whole screen. Instead, it only applies to the section that the body element fills. And here, by applying a background color of light gray on the HTML, it now overrides the background color of the body on the other places. But if I come to this HTML and also do a border with a 10 pixel solid light green, what you notice again is that the height of the HTML element is actually from this point to this point. But by applying a background color of light gray, it is actually showing on the whole screen. And this is where you need to understand that when it comes to the HTML and the body element, the default height of this element is automatic. Automatic in the sense that it depends on the content that these elements contain. And if you apply a background color of this element, they can bleed outside the element box. Now, what do I mean by all these things I'm saying? Let's come to this body element now and let's say I remove everything from here. If I also come to the body here, and I remove this padding of 50 pixels, you can see that the body actually has zero height, but because of this border that I applied, that is why the body has that 10 pixels. So if I should comment this also, you see that the body is not even showing again. And let's inspect this element. And if I click on this body, you can see that it has a width of 838, which is default, the viewport width, but you can see that the height is zero and if i come to this html and i remove the border and if i highlight on the html the width is also by default the viewport width but the height is zero so this is what i mean by the height of the body and the html elements are automatic because it depends on the content that you have in it now if i come back here and i put this content back here if we highlight on the body element you can see that the height of the body element is 480.55 and the height of the html element is 480.55 because that is the content that it contains. So let me go back here and apply this border to the HTML and apply this border to the body. But let me remove this border from the HTML. Now, earlier I mentioned something about bleeding. The way bleeding works here is we apply a background color to the body and the height for this body element as we just saw is from here to here. But the default behavior of the background color is to bleed outside the element. And that is why this light coral background background color is extending to the rest of the document. But when you now apply a background color on the HTML element of light gray now, the background color from the body element will no longer bleed. Instead, it's the background of the HTML element that would bleed to the rest of the document. Don't forget, the height of the HTML element is still from this point to this point, but the background color is also bleeding from this element to the rest of the document. Now, all of this just goes to say that when you want to apply a background color to the background of your page, doing that on the body might not be the most accurate way because if your HTML element should for some reason have its own background color, it's going to overwrite this background color for the rest of the page. So if you want the whole page to be a background color of light coral, instead of doing that on the body, you can instead do that on the HTML. So yeah, I have background color light coral. And even though the HTML is just this point to this point tall, because the HTML doesn't have an upper parent with its own background color, the HTML's background color is going to bleed to the rest of the page. But maybe for some reason, you still want to put your background color of light coral on the body. Let's come here. So the background of the HTML is light gray, but let's say you want the background color to be on your body and you want it to be on the whole of the page, then you might want to do something like height 100%. <laughs> but doing height 100% will not work. And the reason for this is because as you may already know with percentage units, it's going 
going to depend on the parent. So when you say body height of 100%, that means you want 100% height of the parent element of this body. Now the parent element of this body is HTML, right? But just as we already established, HTML is just this tall from here to here. So when you say body of 100%, it's going to mean still here from here because that is how tall the HTML element is. So what you now want to do is to come here and then add a height of 100% to the HTML. So that way the HTML is going to fill up the whole viewport. And then when you have your height of 100% on the body, it's now going to be 100% of this HTML. But you also don't want to stop here. And let me show you why I say that. Now, let's say down here we had another element. I'll just call this div something. And let's say we had a P with something. And let's say I had this style here for the something. So this something has a height of this just so I can make it tall. And something interesting is happening here because of my display flex. So let me just turn off the display flex. What you now notice is that if you look, the rest of the document is gray. So the body only covers from here to here because that is the height of the HTML, but because the document exceeds the viewport, you can now see that the rest of this is background gray. And this background gray is coming from the HTML background color, which is bleeding outside the HTML element. So instead of just having your height of 100% for the body, then what you want to do is minimum height. Your body is not only going to stop at the 100% for the viewport, but the body element can now extend beyond that if the content is more. So if the content is not more, if I comment this part, because our minimum height is 100%, you can see that the body element covers the screen because the HTML element is also height 100%, which is from here to here. And if we put this back, which means there is now more content, the body element can now extend to cover the rest of the screen. One thing you probably notice at the edge here is that the edge is still gray. And the reason for that is because the HTML also has 100%. So I can also go to the HTML and put a minimum height of 100%. So that way you can see that even the html element grew as the content grew so if you want to apply your background color on the body there are a couple of other things you want to take note of especially when more content is added but just like i said earlier a simple approach is instead of having all this minimum height instead of having your background color on your body just put the background color directly on the html and now everything is going to apply when you have just little content on there everything is still going to be light coral because the background color from the html would bleed to the rest of the document and when you have more content the background color from the html is still going to bleed and now if i should turn off all these borders that i created just for demonstration purposes and if i turn my padding back on for the body and also put my display of flex and the other things now we have back our web page where everything stays as the background that we want so i hope that this video has shown you some behaviors of html or the body elements that you probably didn't know before you have probably encountered similar problems where you apply a background color on your body but then it doesn't show on the rest of your page well this is the explanation this is the default behaviors with the body and the html element really hope you found this useful i have more videos on css where i cover different concepts that will help you understand css better and improve your css skills you should find a couple of these videos on my left here and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others subscribe and turn on notifications for more amazing css explanations like this